What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and another adventure. Today we are out in North Texas, very, very far North Texas, almost at the Oklahoma border. We're gonna meet up with our boy, Fast Saver 9000 and Fisherman Dad Jimmy. We are gonna be uh, yakking this spot that I haven't been to in over like a year, maybe a year and a half. Very, very promising spot. Last time we came out here, we killed it on the frog. It was my first time ever frog fishing and uh, it was really good. But now I'm a lot more comfortable with it. So we're gonna be testing out some different lures, some different frogs and uh, probably some weightless lures. We'll talk all about that when we get out there on the water. But enough talking guys, let's go ahead, get the gear and get out there and have some fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, talk about the setup real quick. Got the go-to, which is basically what we always carry with us, 15 pound fluoro Shimano Sitka with a three aught hammer hook. We're just gonna go weightless on this today, I believe. We might swap out and go Texas, not too sure. But then we got a frog setup. This is gonna be like my ultra light frogging setup. This is a Shimano Corrado 71. So it's a smaller spool for lighter like lures and stuff. And then we got the Okuma Helios, which is once again, more of like a lighter combo for lighter lures. And we got the spin setup. It is just once again, the gold series finesse setup with the Shimano Sedona 10 pound fluorocarbon and a one out wacky hook. This is insane. Look how crystal clear this water is. One of the first lures we're gonna be tossing is this Chase Baits, like ultra realistic frog. Very, very small, very, very realistic, soft TPE plastic. So it's very, very durable as well. I'm gonna go ahead, scoot down a little bit further and try to get out of this wind. It might be a sitting kayak kind of day. Here we go, guys. Right where I wanna be. Got some nice openings, some crazy grass over here. Right away, right away. Woohoohoo! Right away, guys. First cast, first fish. Let's go, baby. It's not a big one, but I knew they were gonna be here. Yes, yes, it's gonna be one of those days. All right, guys, first one. Once again, on that little Chase Baits Ultra Realistic Frog. Found the opening, tossed it right in there, making it easy for them. Fish number one, done. First cast, first fish. That is usually bad luck, so let's hope that it doesn't turn into something like that. I do know, last time we were here, this is how the bite was, man. It was just on. Anywhere you can get your lure to get across some opening, just pause it, let it wait. These fish will find it, man. That's a triple up. Man, I wasn't recording, guys. Just got another one on the frog bite. They are loving it. Gonna get back in the water, though. Gotta make sure we're recording, too, apparently. Fish are gonna be on. Trying to get as close as we can. To a little bit of structure. Seemed like a frog coming off the edge. Oof. Missed one. All right guys, we're gonna put a little weightless Senko on and have this as another setup as we're rolling through. Just in case I miss another frogfish, I wanna be able to toss something in there that might convince them. They're popping top water over here, I gotta get there. Thanks, wind. Wind's like, I got you, homie. Yeah. Yeah! I spotted it. He gave it to me. Thanks, wind. Sorry, buddy. Not the frog you were hoping for today. No, nah, he's throwing a scum frog. Oh! That's a good one, too. Big one of the day. Big one of the day. Right in front of Jimmy. Let's go, baby! <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright guys, fish number three? Uh just it happens. Let's go, baby! Let's go! I told you we could get one more. Told you we can get one more. They're in this thick, bro. Just gotta pull them out of it. Barely had them hooked too. 
once again on that chase baits frog and we were recording back in the water buddy oh he hit it swimming in the water one of the better ones of the day guys swimming it through the opening literally out in the open i felt i saw this patch of grass i said i'm gonna toss it right over there boom goes the dynamite there we go got him out got him out nice and safe nice and sound he came up and hit it swimming man oh he's biting oh see ya buddy see ya he said i'm gonna get you wet you on him we on him uh-oh uh-oh no nah, i caught mine behind me there we go boys fascinator I knew it I knew it I knew it I said they're gonna be a fish right here Woo! Woo! buddy's hurt back in the water oh yeah back to back baby Woo! It's the same fish. It's the same fish. No I'm kidding. Oh, okay, Woo, boys, they lighting up over here. I don't even know what number we're on, but we're killing them. Well, guys, having one of the best days out in the water in a long time. And this Chase Baits frog is definitely helping us. I'll show you guys exactly real quick what we're doing. Nothing too crazy. What I'm looking for is little points inside these uh, reeds. So we're just looking for little openings in these reeds, kind of grass patches. You get reeds with grass and then opens up and there's usually more patches of grass so you, got, you can actually see how clear this water is but you get this deep water and these grass edges and literally looking for little points little edges little openings even out there up against the reeds and we're just using the reel crank method just hopping it with the reel every now and again i'll get some twitches it just depends on uh, the actual position but just trying to get it right in those openings like that twitch it put a pause and bring it in if I'm not getting anything in that first, you know, few seconds, bringing it right back in, retrying. It's one of those things though, right there, you get that opening, hit a twitch. If there's nothing, just keep on going. I will say, I don't mind tossing the same spot a few times. If I, you know, maybe get a different angle, you might get the fish to come out. But uh, all we're doing is just working it across these openings, pausing right in those open areas, making it easy for these fish to target this frog. Oh, I moved it too quick. I was like, there's gotta be a fish over there. And I moved it, I was like, nah, he hasn't come up yet. Wrong. Boom! That's a good one too. It's all right, it's all right. That's how we fish, boys. You put it in front of them, so it's nice and easy. I don't even know what number we're on. All right, guys, we're gonna change it up real quick and go wacky rig. We got some nice layover from these trees. So we'll see if we can find anything on a wacky rig over here. Fish on! Yep. It's a good one. Let's go! That was one of the better ones of the day on the wacky rig. Stop it! Stop it! Leave it alone! And them right on the tip too. Done for. Let's go boys. I've, I've, I've lost count a long time ago. We are just, we are just murking them today. Get out of here, buddy. Fish. Fish, get it, get it, Jimmy. Sheesh. Yeah, we can't stop today. Fish number 37 and a half. Got that one on the trusty old green pumpkin Senko. Just gonna rig it up again, wacky rig, one-aught wacky hook. 
Try to keep it small so we can finesse these smaller fish. Just fishing once again, these grass lines, brush lines. And it looks like there's a rain cloud above us. Yeah, it's like, man, you know, like this and that, and then next thing you know. Jimmy ain't catching fish today. Not, not anymore. I cut him off on purpose. You are cut off. Oh, let's go. Let's go, boys. Working it slow, working it slow on the wacky. Let's go, boys, number 25. everybody that is going to conclude another awesome adventure on the water compliments of our boy bassinator 9000 inviting us out here to his hometown to fish and get these bass on and uh we got on him guys so that frog was killing today got him on that weightless senko bassinator was killing him on a paddle tail jimmy also got the most frog fish he's ever had ever so epic day for everybody i think we all caught at least five fish i might have caught 10 i think bassinator probably caught like 10 as well it was, yeah we all had a bit. It's well, insane. Sure. I think as many total fish out of all three of us was at least 20 easy. Oh, definitely easy. We easily got 20 because I think I got 10 alone. So if we count Jimmy's too. Yeah, we had like 30. <laughs> Jimmy's like, come on, man. <laughs> all right, guys, but that is going to be it for today. If you liked the video, please leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel as well. Make sure you check out their videos and their content as well. I'm leaving everything below in the description. Bassinator 9000, Fishman Dad Jimmy. You guys already know about it, but we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you again for watching. Peace.